collar on Silo. I think there's maybe a little bit of a misunderstanding. Maybe some individuals don't really know exactly how they work. Yes, there are times where you amp that signal up to get them to absolutely stop doing bad things. I've received a lot of comments actually in past videos saying that Silo is so well trained. He's such a good boy. Try and train my Rottweiler, who's an aggressive Rottweiler, by the way. Some individuals don't really know exactly how they work, what the purpose of them is. You guys know I'm going to spread a two second lesson here on how to use an e-collar. Using a low level electrical impulse, if they're jumping on people or if they're barking incessantly, you hit them with a high level impulse and they stop doing it. It's like a one second piece of pain for to teach them the lesson and they usually will stop. Is You tell the dog to come. If it doesn't come, you use the little light stem button. If he still doesn't listen to you, you zap him with the powerful impulse and it stops him right in their tracks. Well, actually, before even getting the e-collar, they encouraged me to put it on my hand and actually test out the level so that I was aware of what it felt like for myself and that I wouldn't be hurting my animal at all. A piece of pain for to teach them the lesson. A piece of pain, 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 pain. I wouldn't be hurting my animal at all. And like I said, paired with positive reinforcement. How good your training is, your techniques, your positive reinforcement. Yes, I have used an e-collar along with positive reinforcement. Okay, so how do you train an animal not to do something with positive reinforcement? Doesn't work. That's impossible to do. Like you swear people adopted all these dogs that were just perfect little angels, right? They just... They required so little training. All I did was provide them with love and they just, no, no, it's not how it works.